Thursday's high tide around noon saw continuing flooding along waterways near seawalls like those around Las Olas Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale. Even places that have taken aggressive action to protect against flooding, such as Riviera Isles and Hendrick Isle in Fort Lauderdale, which installed tidal protection valves in recent years, couldn't keep the water at bay thanks to the King Tide supermoon. Tidal valves can't hold back the water if it's rushing over the seawalls, although they do help the water empty out quicker once the tides recede. Riviera Isles residents said it hasn't been this bad in the community since 2012 when Hurricane Sandy impacted the area. And that experience has homeowners casting a weary eye eastward where Hurricane Joaquin is churning. Although Joaquin is expected to turn north and miss South Florida, Sandy also skirted the area but was able to wipe out a stretch of State Road A1A that is still under repair. Fort Lauderdale received a $700,000 state grant last year to cover the cost of about 50 tidal control valves and 48 pollution control baffles, as well as other drainage improvements in the Los Olas Isles, Venice Isle, and Rio Vista neighborhoods. The city is spending $8.5 million over a five-year period on tidal and stormwater improvements in about a dozen Isle neighborhoods. Rolando Otero, SunSentinel.com.